I know who you are. You know who you are. Just say it. Come on. Come on, man. Say it. Better call Saul. Hey guys, Kiwi here, warning of spoilers for Breaking Bad, El Camino, and Better Call Saul to Season 6, Episode 7. In this video, I'll be breaking down and discussing two incredibly wild gene teasers for Better Call Saul Season 6 Part 2, along with Jeff the Cab Driver seemingly being recasted. Like the video if you end up enjoying it, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter for more Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad updates. If you really enjoy what I do here, support me through Patreon, or give back to the channel by clicking on the Super Thanks button under the video. With that being said, let's jump into the breakdown. So the first new Gene teaser is titled Gene's World, and it shows a montage of previous Gene scene moments with the song Big Blue Lullaby by Wiley and the Wild West playing. I wonder if this will be our season 6 Gene scene song. Previous Better Call Saul trailers have been known to tease a song before we actually see it in the show, such as season 5's Welcome to My World, along with season 6 Wine and Roses. Anyways, during the montage we see Gene getting ready for work in season 3, along with the initial season 1 Gene reveal of his face. We also see Gene looking out of his window window at home from season 1, along with him pouring himself a glass of booze before he goes and looks at his old Saul Goodman commercials. We then see Gene pouring out his diamonds from his band-aid box in season 5, along with Gene in the back of Jeff's cab in season 4. We hear dialogue from Jeff in season 5 saying, it's you, as Gene gets out of Jeff's cab from season 4. We then cut to Gene in season 5 telling Ed, I got made, and I'm gonna fix it myself. The only new scene that we actually see in this teaser is someone eating a Cinnabon at the beginning and end of the teaser. The thing is, this person has a wedding ring on, so who could it be? Looking back at season 5, Jeff doesn't wear a wedding ring, and neither does Gene. Is this a new significant character for the Gene timeline in season 6, or is this just a random Cinnabon customer, with the main point being the Cinnabon that he's eating? It could be one of the opening shots for the season 6 Gene scene slash episode, picking up right where season 5 left off, with Gene still in the mall. Now to discuss the elf in the room. The main takeaway from both of these teasers, it seems like Jeff the cab driver is getting recast. We'll discuss why more at the end of the video, but I just had to mention the obvious. While seeing Gene in the back of Jeff's cab from season 4, it appears to be a reshoot with a new actor playing Jeff looking in the rearview mirror. The dialogue quotes from season 5 also appear to be reshot with the new Jeff actor saying the lines instead. It's you. It is you. It's you. It is you! Who are either in the wrong timeline or merging with a new timeline. This is really weird and it's giving me somewhat of an uncanny valley feeling. Currently, my major question is if they really did recast Jeff, why would they also reshoot previous Gene scenes of the new Jeff actor? Again, we'll discuss this more in just a moment, but keep this in mind going into the second teaser. The second teaser is titled You Know Who You Are, and it's quite the trip as well. We get a shot of the new Jeff actor looking in the rearview mirror again, just like the season 4 Gene scene. We then, however, see a brand new shot of Jeff stopping his cab in some neighborhood during the day, along with Jeff himself getting out of his car. While all this is happening, we hear the new Jeff actor saying the season 5 dialogue, pressuring Gene into saying Better Call Saul, which we also hear as the teaser ends. I know who you are. You know who you are. Just say it. Come on. Come on, man. Say it. I know who you are. You know who you are. Just say it. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Say it. Better Call Saul. So I think this second teaser is a huge trailer trickery mashup. One, we see the season 4 reshoot with the new recast Jeff looking into his rearview mirror. Two, we hear the dialogue reshoot from the season 5 Gene scene. And then three, we see a new scene of Jeff driving his cab during the day and then getting out. So this is a mashup of a season 4 scene reshoot, season 5 dialogue reshoot, along with a brand new season 6 scene. Although this is a parallel to the season 4 cab ride, this is definitely a new cab ride as it's during the day, while the season 4 cab ride was during the night. Also, Jeff is getting out of his cab in the same shirt that he had on in the season 5 Gene scene, implying that this happens the same day as the season 5 Gene scene. So Peter Gould retweeted the first trailer with just one word, this. Then Bob Odenkirk retweeted the second trailer saying, it's coming. So people are saying that it's been quote unquote confirmed that Jeff was recast, but that's not entirely true. Although it's possible that the show creators or someone from the cast or crew could come out and officially confirm it in the next few days or even later today. 
today. So we have tweeted at Tom Schnoz and Peter Gould, but they haven't responded yet. I actually delayed uploading this video for an hour or two to see if they would, but they haven't. If they do, I'm gonna post an update as a pinned comment in the comment section, along with linking their response or confirmation in general in the description. Tom has been nice enough to respond to my questions beforehand on Twitter, but I'm sure that a lot of people are asking him this, so if he's able to and actually tweets out confirmation, I'll be sure to pin that in the comments and link in the description, but as of making this video, even after waiting a little bit, I haven't heard anything, but these guys are really busy doing what they do, so they might respond in a few hours, in a day or two, we'll just have to wait and see. Currently, this confirmation rumor comes from an Instagram account called All About Saul. In their post, they say, Recast confirmed. From a trusted inside source, Jeff has been recast and Don Harvey will not be reprising the role in season 6 due to a contract obligation with HBO on We Own This City. I do not have a name for the new cast member. Today's teaser showing the reshoot in the cab was an introduction to the new Jeff so that we can be prepared to see that when it airs and hopefully not be so jarring. Mystery solved. So although I do agree with this Instagram post for the most part, it's not 100% confirmed yet. Although this Instagram account has been a reliable source of info in the past, it is just some guy claiming that he has a trusted inside source. For me, that's the equivalent of saying, people have been saying, or trust me bro, as an explanation. Now I do agree that there is a 99% chance that this Instagram post is correct, that Jeff has been recast, and that these new trailers are just to get us acclimated to the new actor before the new Gene scene slash episode starts, but as of recording this video, it hasn't been officially confirmed, and I just find it funny how this info is traveled through the grapevine so much to the point that people on social media are commenting how they've confirmed it when the show creators actually haven't and that the source is a fan-made Instagram account. Now I just want to clarify I'm not hating on the Instagram account as they are probably correct. And as I said, the show creators, cast, and crew could come out in the next few days or even later today, maybe by the time you're watching this video, officially confirming it once and for all. So with a big mystery or confusion, the simplest answers are usually the correct one. So I'm just going to assume that the original Jeff the Cab Driver actor has been recast due to not being able to film in Better Call Saul Season 6 because of scheduling conflicts with filming that HBO show. That being said, are these trailers really just to get us used to the new Jeff actor? Would they really reshoot scenes from Season 4 and Season 5 with the new Jeff actor, along with saying the character's previous dialogue again, all for the sake of these trailers? Or is there a greater meaning to it? It's possible that it could be just to get us acclimated to the new actor so it doesn't seem as jarring when we see the new actor playing Jeff in Season 6, but I can't help but feel like there's some greater meaning as to why they went through all of the trouble to reshoot these previous Jeff scenes and dialogue. Although these teasers may help acclimate viewers who have been watching the show live as it comes out week to week, it's not like it's going to help viewers who end up watching the show in the future potentially years from now once the show is concluded. So even if it is just a recast, could they stick these reshoots into the season 6 gene scenes slash episodes as either a flashback recap or as part of some grand reveal? Now as I said, although the simplest answer is probably 99% correct, I'm gonna go off the rails here with a few tinfoil hat theories as to how or why these reshoots could have been necessary for the actual show, along with thinking of an in-universe explanation for Jeff being played by someone else. It just feels like they created these trailers on purpose to confuse us and shock us and to get us talking. It kind of seems like more than just getting us acclimated for the new actor. So get your tinfoil hats on because what I'm about to theorize about is crazy and most likely untrue. With that being said, could Jeff actually be a different person than who Gene has previously perceived? Him as. It'd be weird to have Gene tripping thinking he looks different than who he actually is, but I'm just wondering why they'd reshoot old scenes of Jeff with the new actor. Even though Gene isn't high or anything like that, it could be a similar situation to when Jesse was high on meth and Breaking Bad and thought that killer bikers were coming to his door in season 1 when it was really just religious people. Like maybe Gene's paranoia is so high that he sees Jeff as a threat when really he's not, and they show old Jeff moments from previous Gene scenes as a reveal that he isn't who Gene thought he was. If you listen to the dialogue that the new Jeff actor says compared to the old Jeff, although it is the same dialogue, it's said in a completely different cadence. It's you. It is you. It's you. It is you. I know who you are. You know who you are. I know who you are. You know who you are. Just say it. Just say it. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Say it. Say it. 
sense. With the old Jeff, he sounded more dark and ominous, but also playful and happy, making you really question his nefarious intentions if he even had any. Did Jeff actually have sinister intentions for Gene, or was he just unintentionally coming off as abrasive? The new Jeff actor says these lines in such a different way, where his voice is higher pitched, but it's also more aggressive and obvious that he's trying to almost attack Gene with these words. Is this just due to the different actors portraying the characters slightly differently, or could there be a deeper intentional meaning for this that could possibly play into Gene's paranoia? Throughout the entire show, we've been constantly wondering if Gene's paranoia would be his downfall. So could he go after Jeff thinking that Jeff is plotting against him when really he's not? The way that Jeff tells Gene that he's a bit rusty, but he'll do better next time in Season 5 along with See You Around implies that Jeff does have some sort of sinister plan against Gene or that he wants to use him in the future. A little rusty, but <laughs> you'll do better next time. I'll see you, Gene. So what could Jeff have in store for Gene? Now we've been discussing possibilities for like the past two years. I don't think that Jeff is an undercover cop because Gene saying the Better Call Saul lines multiple times would have been enough admission of guilt for Jeff to arrest him right then and there, especially if he was wearing a wire. Instead, the cops behind Jeff and his friend in season five were apparently pure coincidence. Now, is it possible that Jeff is a PI, maybe sent by Kim to track Gene down? And although I like this theory to the point that I brought it up with Pete Peppers and we've discussed it a lot, he did bring up some good points that there's a lot of holes in this theory once you start to really think about it, such as the fact that Jeff picking up Gene from the hospital in season 4 really did seem to be pure chance and coincidence, and I don't really see how the creators could switch that around to feel intentional or planned. Currently, I think that Jeff is just a criminal wannabe who wants to use Gene as his in into the criminal world. World, and that he may blackmail Gene if he doesn't do what he says. It's also possible that Gene could potentially bribe Jeff with some diamonds to stay away, tying into the dialogue from the previous trailer in Saul's office with the Bluetooth earbud where he says we're not friends. I am not your friend, and if you get greedy and you decide to come back for more, don't. Finally, if the original Jeff the Cab Driver actor really couldn't film season 6 due to scheduling conflicts, don't you think that the creators could have just shot the Gene scenes out of order like with the Walt and Jesse cameo? Now, I have another entire Walt and Jesse cameo video in the works where I discuss it more in depth, so I'll be brief here, but the Walt and Jesse cameos were filmed in April of 2021 before they had filmed anything else for season 6, so you'd think that they could have just done the same thing with Gene and Jeff, maybe filming it out of order or waiting to film it until later, filming it earlier, something like that. Now, maybe they intended on filming the Season 6 Gene scene slash episode last since they seem to be saving it for the end of Season 6 in the series as a whole, and that they didn't know that the original Jeff actor wouldn't be able to film until it was too late, causing them to have to find a new actor. We already know that Better Call Saul Season 6 has been produced on a tight schedule, and that if they missed any deadlines, it wouldn't have come out in time. Apparently, they just finished post-production for the Season 6 finale going into the mid-season break, with Peter Gould saying in an interview how he was working on the finale right after episode 607 aired, so even with all the delays and the mid-season break, they were still adding final touches on season 6 while it was airing, even finishing up the final few episodes for season 6 part 1 while the first few episodes were airing, only finishing episodes a few weeks ahead of them airing. Now it's possible I'm just trying to rationalize how this recast could fit into the story, simply because it's so weird that they're actually recasting a character. I know that recasting happens all the time in other shows and movie series, but correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think that Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul have ever totally recasted a character, especially one as important as Jeff. This isn't Game of Thrones we're talking about. Recasting a character in the Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul universe just feels weird for me. It seems like they either get the original actor or they just don't have the character appear again. So having Jeff return but as a different actor feels weird, but since that seems to be the case, I will give the new actor a chance, maybe he does a great job, who knows. It is safe to say that I will miss the old Jeff though, so that's a bit disappointing on its own. Now I've been discussing this Jeff recasting situation behind the scenes with various other content creators such as Pete, Phil the Issues Guy, and George Drake, and I won't speak for them here, but it's been a big discussion topic that's really gotten all of us thinking. It's also clear to say that this has caused quite the ruckus in the Better Call Saul fandom on social media, considering all the replies to the trailers on Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram, causing everyone to be really curious as to how this will play out. Let me know what you think about these new Gene teasers in the comments, along with the new Jeff the Cab Driver recasting, and I'm gonna go back to editing the season 3 tier list. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today. If you're new to the channel or just haven't yet already, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on when I post new content on Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. Check out my Patreon or give a super thanks to help support the channel financially. But most importantly, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out! Anytime you need me, 
You just call up Omaha United Cabs. You ask for me. They'll find me no matter where I'm at. Never more than five minutes away. 